One of the first things I wanted to learn when using DaVinci Resolve was how to create lower thirds. Now that I know, I'm going to teach you how to. But before we do that, my name is Rico Richardson and welcome back to my channel. I upload weekly videos on Darktable and DaVinci. So if you're into that, please subscribe. Now let's go. Right, so I've already opened up DaVinci Resolve and I've created a project which I've called how to make lower thirds in DaVinci Resolve. I've already selected a clip and let's just play that clip without having any lower thirds on it. Pretty boring, right? Now let's add a lower third. And DaVinci Resolve has a couple of ways to do this. First, we need to make sure that we select the effects library and that will make sure that all these effects are popping up. And one of the things you see is the titles and you have a left lower third, a mid lower third and a right lower third. For this video, we're going to use a left lower third. So we're going to drag that onto the timeline. And then you see that this is starting to appear. But you might wonder how can we edit this because I don't want the lower third to say title. Let me show you how. For that, we need to go into the inspector tab. And when we've opened it up, you see that here it says title. And if we scroll down, it says title again, which matches these two titles. So let's say this is going to be called a very nice building. And I'm going to change the second text into just my two cents. And there we have a simple lower third. However, this doesn't really look like something I would use. So I'm going to make this a little bit more professional. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font. I'm going to change it from Times New Roman to let's say, what shall we do? Open Sans, maybe that one. Open Sans, let's go for Open Sans Extra Bold. There you go. That looks a lot better. I'm going to go to the second one. I'm going to change that as well. I'm going to change that into open sans extra bold as well. And now both texts are matching. There's another thing that we can do here and which is add a drop shadow. And I'm going to teach you guys how to make an animation so that it will slide in from the left. So first let's start on the background. There are a couple of options. You've got the drop shadow, which is set to zero. But if you move this around, you see that the drop shadow is starting to shift and you can always undo what you did by clicking this symbol. I just want to offset it to the right a little bit and maybe to the bottom. There you go to give it a nice 3d look. Let's scroll in, which you can do by moving the mouse wheel button away from you. And if you move it towards you, you will zoom out again. So that looks pretty fine. I'm going to put it back to fit the screen. I'm not going to change the stroke, but I am going to change the background. And we don't see a background yet, but we need to change the height. And there you go. It suddenly starts to appear. Now, obviously, this text is way too big, so we can either move it to the left. But in this case, I'm just going to make this text a little bit more smaller so that it fits perfectly within the background. And don't worry about it if you want to do something else because you can always use these to move it around and to make sure that it's perfectly centered. So let's just bring that back. Now the space above the text is the same as the space beneath the text. So I think that looks pretty fine. And even though we can use black, I want something that stands out a little bit more. So I want to change the color as well. And for that, we can use this one, the color one. And I'm just going for a harsh blue. Okay, and that looks a lot better. And if you think that this is way too opaque, you can change that by moving the opacity slider to the left to make it less opaque. And if you move it to the right, it will become way more visible. So let me just put it like that. And there's one more thing I want to do. I want to animate it so that it'll slide in screen from the left to the right. And for that, we can't change anything within this text menu because all this does is change the text, change the background and stuff like that. For that, we need to use the video one. And the video one has the ability to change the cropping. And in this case, we need to crop the right all the way to 9020, make a keyframe. And then let's go forward about 12 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now let's move this 
back all the way to the left. And we're going to do the same thing at the end of the clip. So we're going to count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're going to create a keyframe. And then we're going back to the end of the clip. And we're going to make sure that, that this is set to 1920. Now let's play this clip and see how that looks. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? There's one more thing I want to show you because DaVinci does come with some presets itself. Now let's say you don't want to make all of this and you just want something standard. Let's move that one out of the way. You have some options. Beneath Fusion Titles, you will see that there are a couple of lower thirds already pre-installed which you can use. And we can just drag it on there and then it needs to be rendered, but it'll render when you play it. So let's just play this. And you see that here we have a standard lower third. And that already looks great and you can change the text as well. The same way you can change it by the one that we've used. So you can just click main text and then change the main text. So now you can see it, main text. And you can change the secondary text as well. So let's call this test. I'll show you the main test as well. Test. And now both of them have changed. And you can personalize this any way you like. That's it for this video. That's how you create a lower thirds in DaVinci Resolve. Let me know in the comment section down below if you like this video. And if you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button over there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!